Hi everyone, it's James here from TSR Javi Talks Tech. This time, let's talk stereo recording. These techniques could be used for drum overheads, watch this space for more coming very soon on that subject, acoustic piano, acoustic guitar, or in this case, guitar cabinet. Or more specifically, my Roland Jazz Chorus 77, which is genuinely a stereo amp. The signal is split at the chorus effects stage and sent to two discrete amps and fed in turn to two speakers giving us that glorious JC stereo image. I'd like to thank the team at Jay-Z Microphones for sending me a pair of their BT-202 small diaphragm pencil condenser mics to help me make this video. These mics have a super flat response curve all the way up to about 7K when there's a gentle push just to sweeten the top end. Perfect for stereo recording. We're going to try four different techniques. NOS, ORTF, XY and spaced pair. Now, if you trawl the internet for stereo mic techniques, you're going to find at least a hundred different versions of each of these techniques. Please, don't start shouting at me and start saying, you're doing it wrong, or that my ORTF mics are not at 90 degrees to each other. These are the versions of the techniques that I was taught many, many moons ago, which I've adapted and tweaked over the years, as I've used them on many, many real world recording sessions. So let's start with NOS, as quite frankly, that's what I've got set up already. The basic setup rules for an NOS pair are that the mics are at 90 degrees to each other and they're the same height. And the capsules should be 30 centimeters apart, a bit like we have here. I've used one right angle XLR to stop the rear end of the two mics interfering with each other. We're about 24 centimeters away from the speaker grill cloth, so I'll try and keep this the same for all the techniques. And it goes without saying that the chorus is on in the fixed position and I'll not mess with the amp between takes. And this is how it sounds. An ORTF stereo pair looks a lot like an NOS setup. However, the mics are at 110 degrees to each other this time, still at the same height, but now only 17 centimeters apart. Depending on the mics you're using, you may have to cross the mics over in order to get them in the right position. But I think we're gonna be okay using the Jay-Z BT-202s. Again, we are 24 centimeters from the cab, and this is how it sounds. <laughs> The next technique is the XY, or as some might call it, the coincident pair. With XY, the capsules are set up at 90 degrees to each other on top of each other so that the capsules form an X shape. Now, take your time getting this right, as the key to this setup is getting the angles at exactly 90 degrees between the two mics. And it sounds like this. <laughs> Finally, let's remove the stereo bar, bring in another mic stand, and set up a spaced pair. Now, if using omnidirectional mics, this technique could be called an AB pair, but the BT-202s have a fixed cardioid pickup pattern, which is the pattern you're gonna use nine times out of 100 when recording a stereo pair, or in fact, recording full stop. 
I'm placing the mics in parallel to each other this time, 24 centimeters, again, in front of the cabinet. And both mics are pointing at the edge of the speaker dust cap where it meets the cone, about 34 centimeters apart. Let's take a listen. <laughs> So now I'm going to play back the four examples in turn so you can really hear the differences between the four different recording techniques. So I'd love to hear from you and find out which was your favorite stereo technique. Which technique gave the best stereo image? Which technique had the most effect on the tone of the recording? For me, the ORTF and the NOS do sound very, very similar. However, the XY has a lot more bottom end, but not quite the stereo width. For me, if I'm being totally honest, the spaced pair was the best of the four for this particular scenario. We're getting the best out of the cabinets, we're getting the best out of the speakers, it just sounded right for me. ORTF, NOS, no problem. The XY did sound, I won't say woolly, but certainly quite bassy and was the thickest of the four takes. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas for your next stereo recordings. Thanks again to the team at Jay-Z Microphones for their amazing BT-202s and their help making this video. And as always, please do like, subscribe and hit that bell to be kept up to speed with all things TSR Jivey Talks Tech. But for now, my name's James Ivey from TSR JTT and I'll see you again very soon.